Hi friends. Thought I'd get an extra video out of today. It's Sunday again. And uh, I was gonna decorate the Christmas tree and put up more Christmas decorations today. Um, but we took a two hour nap instead. Oh, you did. I did, Dad did, Chelsea did, like Kaylee and Jacob did, Abby did, and then Abby went to work. You wanna show me your blanket you made? No, it just looked weird. So her um, church group, um, all had their activity on Tuesday and they made these little blankets. Our room doesn't have any. Yeah, yeah our building is like handmade. <laughs> it doesn't have good heating. And so their room doesn't have an actual heating. I'm thinking I may get them rid of these little. But she tied, cut and tied this whole blanket. And they're, it's like. Yeah, it's a big blanket. Um, she's so. thinking of trying to get, do it again. Yeah. But like make them bigger. Yeah. Cause some people. So think. anyway, um, I'm going to show you before and after lights and no lights of my cute palm tree in our backyard. Jason just. The front door. Yes. Didn't I? Yeah. Um, of our little palm tree out front. Um, out back. super cute out back, I guess. Yes. Okay. Here's our little palm tree in the daylight. Um, we ended up having to take off the strand that was on the trunk and it worked out great because this one is a really big <laughs> strand and so we got to wrap it a lot um, and then we added three strands four strands um, to the top in little little leaves little palm leaves we had a little bit extra here we're gonna look and see what this little bush looks like with like three wraps of lights on it but um, if not we'll just bundle it up inside the bush but we'll come back in the dark and we'll show you what the palm tree looks like in the dark. But currently we have to take this tree that we got donated to us to the church um, and set it up. And we have to grab some lights from my friend who got some from the Goodwill. Hopefully they work. Manly man. Yep. Manly man. Is it gonna fit with her being able to like take a seat? I don't know. Put the big end right there and then Turn it the other direction. It only turns so much. No. Will it fit? Aha. Okay, we are here, but we forgot that they, this is obviously a janky tree. And they, the guy's like, uh, take some zip ties to hook the branches in, and I forgot. So we're coming up with what we can here at the church. There's a little twisty tie. I just don't know if it's going to be strong enough. I know, strong enough, enough to, to hold, hold it up. Can you come hold this up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, you'd never guess what worked. A fork prong. I just stuck that in there, like the screw. As long as you don't mess with it, the tension on it works. Alright, we've been true MacGyvers. We've got one prong, two prongs, three prongs, and a little piece of tinsel. <laughs> and Jason's now going to fluff the bottom end of it. And then we'll put the next one on and see how many more prongs we need to add to it. This is the part where I can't do it. So Jason's going to help. And actually, are you just here for moral support? No, start, start. You can help fluff. No, I'm going to All right. And now we are starting to put the lights on the tree. And we're finding out why all the light strands were donated. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a strand attached to all the rest of this one does that look familiar to anyone because that like happens to everyone so what we do is we bury it in the back of the tree you can probably see a little dangly over there every strand so far has had a little blank space it's the ta oh actually it's not here it's the taylor's version get it blank space baby is that a song? yes it is that was just like not worth the joke because you don't understand don't understand don't understand We've recruited Ashley to hop up on a table. <laughs> We're almost done. Thank you, boo. Mom can't touch the tree. Okay. No. Just keep wrapping it. There's a dead spot right in front of your right in front of you. Right. In, nope. That would be not the right there. Me? Right in front of your face. Yep. Right in there. I, it's just dead from this view, and okay. just bring it around, and then yeah, that bring that set right there. Yeah. And then just wrap it around and call it good. Yeah, go wash your hands. Thank you. I wasn't just sitting here the whole time. Uh, we were able to order new tables finally. Um, it took three years 
to get approval to order new tables here at the church. But luckily they did. They got 20, supposedly, supposedly they got 21 of the commercial size lifetime folding tables. I can only find 17 of them. So I'm not sure where the other five are, four are, but we need all of them <laughs> to make sure we have seating for over 200 people. So um, I was counting those and looking in all the rooms to try and find them. And um, yeah, so now we are done. We're gonna head home and get something to eat. Um, and then watch Sister Wives. It's just our, our little tradition. We don't have a Seahawks game to go watch because they already played Thursday night football on Thanksgiving Day. But uh, now we have to, I think these lights, Jason, stay on. We're the last ones in the building. So we just have to make sure all the lights get taken or get turned off that are supposed to go off. You guys, oh, let's turn off my headlights. Oh, look how stinking cute my tree looks. Turn yeah, turn off my headlights, Jace. I mean, come on. She looks so cute. I wish my neighbor's uh, motion light would go off so you could see it in the dark. All right, well, she's still pretty cute. Meanwhile, apparently I didn't park well enough, so he's moving the car. <laughs> Ashley, what do you have? <laughs> a giant ball. You undid the blanket you made a while ago, huh? Two pounds. She just rolled that entire thing up. That looks so cool, yeah, actually. It was like, like five different ones. Yeah. That is really cool. <laughs> I just paused the show to uh, show you it's time for Sister Wives night. <laughs> this is what it ended on. So it is time for Sister Wives commentary. And I will say, we do give Cody all the flack because he deserves it. Um, but I do, f I, we don't talk about like the kids or anything like that. Um, and we don't give a full commentary, obviously. But like, I do feel bad. Someone made a comment like, you know, we just feel awful for the kids. Of course, like we feel awful for the kids because they're taking the brunt end of. Well, their families are falling apart. Yeah. Their, their parents. It's not their responsibility. And their dad's treating them like crap. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, there's family, like 20 something kids. Yeah. Breakup is rough no matter what, or whether they're married, not married, whatever. or a father that doesn't want to be with you. Yeah. Whether there's a breakup or not. Anyway, so yes, we understand that. We, that's, we're on the same page. We just like to make fun of Cody because he deserves it. That's why there's a uh, reality TV. Mm hmm. It, it, there is that. Um, so, we're going to watch that. Um, little squirt down here is just watching her show by the fire. She like lives right here all the time. And um, I was going to decorate today. I really was. Well, you saw the big ball she made. Yeah, I did. She did that. Yeah. Um, but I was going to actually decorate today. But I'm going to try and oh, do that well, tomorrow. I... <laughs> Guess who's going to help me decorate tomorrow? <laughs> oh, as if. As I'm, if as I'm, I'm going to let him. I'm as if, if, well, as if you weren't going to make me do it. Whatever. I'm not going to let you at all because you don't have... Okay, fine. Then I'll go for a hike. No. Yeah, energy. you can go for a hike. Well, we have to go to Costco. Yeah, no, I'll just figure. Yeah. I can go alone. You like to go to Costco. Like you get mad at Costco. me when I go to Costco I without you. It's just cold and I've got to get motivation. i got to train for a climb. i got to have... I gotta you just have need to be back to here by 10 more. if you want to go to... I need to go to Costco tomorrow. No, we'll go to Costco, we'll run the errand, we'll take a friend to their house, and... I know. I'll just play it by ear. Okay. I'll work out no matter what, but whatever. All right, we'll, we'll get back to Sister Wives here. <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> she looks hideous is what he just said, talking about someone on the, on the commercial. Um, there's so much... There's no way... There's no one-liners, but there's no way to, like, regurgitate anything from this episode, because it's just all him trying to backpedal and make up excuses about justify, him not being in love. Just trying to justify. Like even like family members of mine who have gotten divorced are like, I loved my husband. Yeah. I loved him when I got married. I loved him through many years of marriage, even through the difficulties or the abuse or situational or whatever. I still loved him. And so for him to like say he never, yeah, he's just trying to justify it, all his yeah, BS and his treat, mistreatment of his wives. But, um, I almost wanted Abby to watch with us. She went, um, she was bored. So she went in the car. Um, I'm actually glad she went driving tonight. He's really worried because of the icy roads. I just, I worry about no, 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 but it's a good night for her to go practice. 
because their roads aren't all icy. It's just little patches Black of it. Ice. It's I know, but it's not very much. So it gives her the chance to go and practice with the ice. Okay. If there is any. I don't think there is very much. But it is pretty cold outside. She's not sure her phone with me. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna keep having this conversation with him. Um, I should go to bed, but I don't want to. I'm gonna have a little, <laughs> we got too into this that I didn't make my little charcuterie board snack. I really haven't had dinner. So I'm um, kind of backtracking here. Um, oh, my berries have all gotten bad. I don't think I can find it. Can we be quiet? Are you going to bed? Ashley is up there making noise, oh, isn't she? Hey, will you tell Kaylee to come and unload, please? And then, yes, we'll be quiet. We'll be done with our... Kaylee already heard you say that. Okay, hi, Kaylee, come and unload. Hi. I think one of the things that I like most about Sunday nights is that, like, we've all usually been here a majority of the day. In and out. Kaylee and Abby work, but... It's just kind of nice to like have everyone kind of home. I'm unloading Ashley's dishes really quick so that I can actually start the dishwasher. Yeah, I'm gonna start it. Um, it's just kind of fun to have everyone home, even if it includes everyone taking a nap. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. I'm very in the festive mood these days. It was really fun to get the tree in the back all decorated. It was fun to go to the church and get that tree, that tree done and uh, to have mine like done so far. I am determined to get out the Christmas decorations tomorrow and start to decorate, but we do have a busy morning in the morning, um, but I'm hoping the evening is, like the afternoon to evening is pretty free. So, um, it's just kind of fun to start the holidays. The kids are already like, don't play Christmas music in the car. But I think it's fun. And uh, it's, annoying. it's not annoying. <laughs> They're already sick of it. Uh, luckily the kids don't drive around with me very much. It's just Ashley. So um, he, he just the girls are just getting ready for bed and getting ready for school tomorrow and work. Um, but we are getting really close to Abby's surgery. So I will be working on a few things this week, um, trying to get ahead on videos as well to make sure that I can not worry about editing and instead take care of her. And let's see what else. That involves a few little things that I've got to work on. I am gonna get holiday cards out to you guys. I keep saying that. <laughs> I will get them out. I'm hoping that they're in the mail before December 1st. That's my goal. That will not happen. Yeah, because I, I don't really like cards going out before Thanksgiving anyway. I feel like you shouldn't be getting Christmas cards before Thanksgiving. So that's, to be fair, that's, I think I'm right on time. Um, but I just want to wrap it up before Abby's surgery anyway. So I'm kind of giving myself this like December deadline as a, as a guide for myself. So we will, I just hope that I, if I can get most of the Christmas stuff put up tomorrow, it shouldn't take long because I don't want to like really like do a ton. Um, maybe I will actually get time because I want to like sit down and do a holiday movie. weather it's like 30 degrees outside just ready for the winter season and it's right upon us take care and i hope you guys are all doing good going into the holidays i hope you're enjoying time with family and friends and um, traveling safely so um, i hope you stick around see what we're doing and it's fun to like get to interact with you and learn what you guys are doing all over the world as you have seen um, us interact with some of you guys, um, some of you are on camera, some of you are not on camera, but just know that like, it's, it's very real for us to like meet you and 
interact with you, even if it's just like in comments back and forth. Uh, it's very real for us to have these. My mom has like 50 on my Well, I, there's a lot of them, Ash. There's a lot of them that um, I've become friends with. And my brother-in-law was, Jason's brother was asking me on Thanksgiving day, he was like, you know, how's the channel going? And he was kind of thinking I was gonna give him my stats and how many subscribers do I have and how many views do I have? I have a million and a half views, which is fantastic. But I just told him, it's it's not like I don't have a million followers, but what I am gaining, especially in this past year, is I'm gaining friends. I'm gaining a community, I'm gaining these relationships and camaraderie and laughter and, you know, and compassion and, I, that's you guys. Like, that's you guys connecting with me and me being able to connect with you guys um, in a way that is really, really unique. And I think that's kind of what bigger channels start to miss out on, um, unless they are, get this little bit of a community when they're smaller and they can hang on to that when they get bigger. Um, I'd love to get bigger just for it to like, actually like monetarily support us a little bit more or at least support me and in, in the things that I want to do with the kids and with Jason but um, more than anything I, I would hope that I can hang on to this community that I have with you guys because this year alone has been so good for all the community that we have created we including you so thank you for being part of that and I will see you guys next time